Y'all are both good boys. Yeah, who wants Chinese food? What did I say? That's an Amorje battery in there. I think of this battery as the engine. I've learned enough about these e-bikes to learn that that battery is the motor. I don't know what the motor is. It seems like these motors will take as much power as you can give them. These are 20,000 watt motors. This one and this one. I see guys running these at 60, 70,000 watts online and they're supposed to peak at 40. This is a 12,000 watt motor. Supposed to peak at 27,000 watts, I think. And I see people running these way higher than that. I think the motor can handle it. The power is all about these batteries. That's where to spend the money. A Morge. Sounds kind of French, doesn't it? I don't even know how to pronounce that word. I'm just making that up. Amorje. Maybe it's Amorje. Yeah, that sounds more Chinese. Amorje. Mm. No wonder they're so skinny. Or maybe it's Amorje. Oh, I'm sorry. Was that offensive? If you're Chinese and I offended you, I sincerely apologize. If you're Chinese American or white, no. And I'm not going to apologize to all Asians because that would include Russians. That's not going to happen. The gong was offensive, really. Have you ever watched a Chinese kung fu movie? The gong is their go-to for segues. What Tony from LC Science would say. It's like, you're bullying the minorities. I'm like, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, just get out of here. Anyways, shout out from Florida. So I want to upgrade my battery in the fake Ducati and see if it's like a motor upgrade. Doesn't have quite the power I want. I've got it at 600 amps. I'm barely getting the 600 amps out of that ND 1200 controller. If I upgrade the battery, maybe I'll need a controller upgrade also. But if the battery acts like the motor and I can get more power out of a bigger battery, I want to do it. Right now I've got these 40 PL. If you look at the Mooch chart, oh, I don't know how to say that word either, but this current battery is EVE cells and they're 40p. The battery is a 26S16p. So 16 of those little cells in parallel and they still give you the nominal 3.7 volts in the end, just like the one cell would give you. But then you stack them up and you run them in series 26 times and you get your 96 volt battery nominal. So on that Mooch chart, you can see that to run this battery continuous until it's dead, that EVE 40P cell, you can't discharge it at a higher rate than 20 amps or it'll get past 60 degrees Celsius. That's the shutoff point in the BMS. We don't want to heat the batteries up higher than 60. And I'm going to keep that shutoff point. I like that shutoff point. I don't want to overheat my batteries and destroy their longevity. These things are freaking expensive. So we'll use 20 amps. 20 amps times 16. That gives me 320 amps continuous. So if I were to climb Pike's Peak, I should be able to run 320 amps all the way up it until this battery dies without overheating it. And that's a lot of power. Equates to about 600 to 800 peak amps for a very short time when you start looking at the heat and the voltage sag. But if I go to a 50 PL battery, the Mooch chart on it takes me to 30 amps till discharge, till dead, without exceeding 59 degrees Celsius. That's a game changer. That means I can run 480 amps continuous all the way up Pike's Peak. Hell, I might even can win the race with that kind of speed. Not only that, but my peak power now jumps up to 900 to 1,000 amps for a short duration. That's going to be crazy. I could blow the motor up. So what I'm going to do is I'm doing my budget build over here, my cafe racer, and I'm going to give this battery to my cafe racer. And I'm going to get my new battery and put in here. Both batteries will be the same exact size, 16P. 26S, just different cells. But I'm gonna swap the batteries back and forth because I'm making them both quick change. They both slide in and out pretty easy and I'll have one charged while the other one's riding. And that way, if I take this and do a track day or something like that, I can have two batteries at the track day. For real, I don't really care. I bought this battery originally because I didn't know a lot about this stuff. I went on Endless Fear about Amorje batteries. Good price, good quality. I've watched videos of guys pulling these things apart. They were impressed with the quality. So not knowing what I was doing, I bought the Amorje battery and I've been real happy with it. It's one of the only things that hasn't been a piece of crap. I get piece of crap controllers, piece of crap motors. It's a gamble, but my battery has done really well. I had planned on, once I got more knowledgeable with this stuff, building my own battery and that would make a good video. But have you went online and seen all the battery fires? Do you go on YouTube and see them? These are experienced guys. These are experienced battery builders that I respect as battery builders. And their batteries are catching fire. It takes a lot of tools and it takes a lot of know-how to build these batteries. But I still think I have the technical skill to do it. And I do a lot of research and I'd watch a lot of videos and figure it out. Then I started looking at the price. And just for the 50 PL cells, there's 416 cells in this thing. To buy those cells from a reliable source in the USA, it's going to be over $3,000 for just the cells. 
sales. I can go to Alibaba and get the sales for about $1,400, but when you're talking about Alibaba purchases, it's not like AliExpress. AliExpress figures in your shipping, your import duties, your tariffs, and they kind of put it all on the price. Alibaba, you have to negotiate all this. How to get it shipped, how much it's going to cost, what your import fee is going to be, things like that. And with the tariffs now, AliExpress won't even pop a 50p sale up on there. They'll have some old crappy sales, like the ones nobody wants anymore. Battery technology is coming up so fast. But I know a lot of people in the comments are always asking me, why don't you build your own battery? You need to build your own battery. And I get it. I should. It just doesn't make sense right now for me. I think it's actually cheaper to buy these. I think it's probably safer at this point to buy these. I think it's a safer battery than I would make. I see on Alibaba, they have the 50 PL cells and they're $3 and I think 30 cents a piece if I get under a thousand. And that would be around 1400 bucks, which is a good price, but I still have to make a metal case or buy one, I still have to have a BMS. I have to have all the bus bars, all the tools, these big cables that hook it all together, the charging. There's a lot to know and there's a lot to buy. I think I'd be into this for more than the $2,400 that a 50 PL pack's gonna cost me from Amorje. And you just can't go wrong with these Amorje batteries because they've got enough buyers with enough reviews online that you can read all about them and everyone's pretty satisfied with them. So I'm gonna order it from Amorje Batteries and I'm gonna upgrade this bike. It's gonna be badass.